Hey, this is Jake here from Network Nerve, and this is part four of the Pong LWJGL series. And in this uh, episode, we're going to go over rendering, finally. We're actually going to be able to see the entities on the screen. But first, we need to edit a few things in the entity class. First, we need to go down to move entity, make that public. And in do render, we're going to make the first two digits FF for uh, full opacity. And this speed variable is never initialized, so like this that speed and 5.0 F should be a good starting speed. You can change that if you want. It all depends on how you want to play it. And next, we're going to want to make a entity player. So go to new class, type in entity player, click enter, and then the entity player will actually extend entity. And this will inherit all of the variables and functions from the entity class into entity player. And it's showing the red line because we need a constructor. So just make that. And up here, we want to uh, set some uh, variables like we're going to want to set the position x a little off the window so it's not touching the edge. Make that about 16f and this dot height. Uh, let's just make that five times. And we're going to want to set the position Y to Pong dot display height divided by two minus this dot just this dot height divided by two. And this should set it in the center of the screen on the y-axis. And the next thing we're going to do is override our uh, onUpdate function. This will be called every time the entity is uh, loaded in the world. So this will make sure all of the previous uh, onUpdate functions are ran. And we can add some more of our own by doing this. We can, we want to handle input, so handle input, pong, and then we will go over inputs in later tutorials, I'll just leave that blank for now. So now we're going to want to make a world class, name it world, and from here, we're going to want to make an array list that holds all the entities that are loaded in the world. So public array list entity entities equals new array list entity. And then we need to import the array list class. And then from here, we're going to make our constructor. And then public void run pong pong. And then we're going to want to loop through each uh, entity that is loaded through this array list over here. So for entity entity oops colon this dot entities and then for each entity that's loaded and looped through we want to call the on update function and pass that pong variable and from here we're going to want to make two variables up in the beginning over here public entity player, the player, and public 
entity world the world Oop. world and then go in your init function and you're going to want to call the instance of this player equals new entity player pong let's see oh that needs to be instance instance dot the world equals new world and we're going to set that as pong and go into your game loop class or function or method and then do instance dot the world dot run and this will make sure your run function is always in the game loop. So go back to your world class. And we're going to want to set the parameter as pong so we can get the instance. And then this dot, oops, dot entities dot add new entity player pong. Oops, that's already called. We want pong dot the player, and then it's going to loop through everything. Right now, it's only going to have the player loaded in the array list. So let's just see. Oh, two changes to instance. And what other errors do we have? Oh, instance. Now let's test this out, and you should see this little paddle right here that we can use. You can change the sizes and everything, this is just proof of concept kind of thing, but right now the entity player is being looped through and being drawn, and in the next tutorial we'll probably go over inputs to move the player around. So I will see you in the next tutorial.